Hey, everybody. Welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. Uh, we're taking a Blue Blood Patchwork Axiom and Terminal to Operation Star Nightmare. End of the line in the switchyard. It's a very difficult mission. One encounter, keypad and security doors. We've got the uh, auto key for the security doors. And I believe, I don't know if both gremlins can do it. Maybe it's just patchwork. But um, that's other options for our breach that we can decide on when we get a closer look. So let's rock and roll, shall we? We just got the upgraded armors. So everyone's got a little bit of extra tankiness. Ahead. Sweep and, clear. and an extra available. slot to carry stuff. Alrighty. First unit through this entrance get plus one armor for the encounter. Okay. I thought we saw a security door as well. I guess that's just like, it's, it could be either or. If you have one encounter, I don't know. Uh, I like the plus one armor, though. And then I put patchwork in. We take the scanners. Uh, blue blood and then terminal last. Yeah, I like this. Okay. Follow me. Come on, squad. Easy mission today. Come on now. Four enemies visible. Uh, Commando, Hitman, Android. Aggressive Android, mind you. If we get the kill on the Commando, that's an immediate uh, unconscious target. Nice. Then, these guys are alert. If we could... Hmm. We could maybe avoid taking some damage here. If we can kill this guy. 95. Or we just go Lancer shot, right? Oh, little purifier over here we're seeing. Geez, still not enough damage. You serious? Okay, well. At least we're not taking any immediate damage. Clear the loading dock. Fine, I, fine, fine. I will. I will. I'll clear the loading dock. Now, Adrenal Surge, we could use this right away and, and just pump up our rage, right? Increases the chance of shake it off and all that kind of good stuff. Um, and increases the chance at which we apply, like, a negative effect. We don't get two smashes out of it, unfortunately. But, let's see, actually. Do not end the turn or have cooldowns. So I wonder if I could get there and still take a shot as well. You know what? Let's try it. I'm gonna I'm gonna bump up to like three rage. Where's this target? Ooh. 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 -hoo. I like that. We could um. No, we can we can kill this guy. I think with uh with patchwork in the next round. Up. Also, only one encounter, right? So, we have a turret in the back. Ready for action. So, we gotta make sure we use team up at some point. Hello, neighbor. Let's see what he does here. Okay, we got a disorientation off, which is fine. We could smash again. Smash a different target if we wanted, or we could try to kill him with the shotgun. Four to six. We would need max damage here. I'm gonna psych up one more time. And since he's disoriented, I'm gonna kind of count on him not being as huge of a problem. And we'll try to share some damage here. Now, look at all this health now on him. Hey, double disorients. Oh, and he's gone. He's lost it. This is a little tip-off once you see the rage disappear. Oh, don't go in the turret. Oh, he's coming right back. <laughs> That's sick. Good job, Axiom. That worked out fantastically. Okay, I'm not going to be able to kill him now, it turns out. Because I was thinking I could... I didn't realize she was in this position. Dude, 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 dude. 
Are we going to have reinforcements here? Because this seems like really straightforward if we do not have reinforcements. I'd really like to subdue here too, but... Well, actually, if I come down here, we can zap that turret. We let the hitman act. Overloading target. Blowing we could call this up, but I just feel like we're going to... Something else is going to happen. Helps. Right? So, I'm saving. Target weapon in sight. Uh, you call yourself a hitman? Yeah, real cool. Real cool stuff, Hitman. Real cool. Seventy-seven. It's pretty good. Oh, oh, now that's cool. We didn't know that. So he's got the warm welcome, right? So first shot in each clip, disorient. Fine. Cool. But. Even if it misses? Seems good. <laughs> seems good. All right. We can come in here and move this purifier down the line a little bit. Actually, I should have checked to see if if she even had range. I don't think so. Let's go pin down. Because then we can get the knockouts here. Hopefully. Oh, I should have raged up or psyched up there. So do the nice, 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 nice. go from here. Oh! Arrested another target. Okay, good. A little one damage. You gotta remember that. <laughs> okay. You guys, uh, never happened before, I don't think. Have we seen a flawless? Cool. And pretty good chance to get intel. 60%. The androids damage to combat can be repaired in the armory for a small cost. Shortest mission of all time. Yeah, I think so. Okay. We got the intel. Sick. Field team's done. City Anarchy's at three. We know that. Uh, 20 Illyrium. Minus two unrest in the switch yard district. If the stacks are 31's beating industrial heart, the switch yard is its circulatory system. Repurposed occupation era trains deliver essential goods to the re entire region from this district. We strive to be a good neighbor. A source of vitality for many, but not all terrestrial and exoterrestrial species. Nice. It's worse than we feared. Sacred Coil is breeding a new strain of chrysalis. chrysalis. Five years Come ago, on. the Bugtown massacre killed thousands. We can't let history repeat itself. The Bugtown massacre. Okay. So robotics and chrysalids. Cool. That's great. Hey, finally, recover Five chrysalid control. The end of Advent's occupation. Life is vastly different for all of us. Human, alien, and hybrid alike. Where do we go from here? Are we capable of surmounting the many challenges before us? We'll explore these questions with a new program we call Profiles of Restoration. Each episode follows a person working to rebuild the planet and beyond. Give us a watch or a listen. We want to show you the world. Okay, so a couple of choices here. And, like, this is really far out, right? But if we put somebody in there, we reduce it to half. That might be something to reach for. Uh, currently... Currently, if we check, take a look in the armory. So, weapon-wise. So, submachine gun, submachine gun... Pistol, pistol, so that's two each. Assault rifle, shotgun. <laughs> so it's like, it's such a spread that it's difficult to decide if it's worthwhile upgrading them. 
Retool the stock shotgun schematic for increased effectiveness. I mean, if there was one I would do, it would be the shotgun first, I think. Um, improve medikits could be nice. It's only three days as well. And we could probably heal for more. Let's do this first, actually. Let's do that. All right, cool. Uh, it's only three days. After this next mission, we could put Cherub in there to finish that up. This is all well and good. And now we have to go here. Very difficult. Let's see. Three encounters. Uh, wall, window, door, security door. And we've got the wall breaches here. But that would mean that Terminal needs to go in first. So I'm going to actually take the breach item from her. And we'll give it to him for a wall breaching option. And... I think that's probably okay. We can consider another med kit here, but man, are we getting poor. <laughs> We've been pouring into Intel though, so it's kind of expected. And we just bought the big uh, armor upgrades. Um, you know what? This is a big deal, this mission. So I think as many people that can carry these as possible, why not? Okay. All right, let's do it. So blue blood patchwork axiom and terminal. Very difficult. Recover chrysalid control codes in the fringe. Three encounters. Uh, wait, patchwork. What's her deal again? The combat scanners. The zap up close. Yep, cool. Terminal. The refresh. One use permission. Okay, pin down. Blue blood, the warm welcome. And axiom, we know. All right, let's go. Sacred Coil got Snappy their hands photos. on some psionic control codes, the kind Advent used to direct their chrysalids. That's the worst thing I've heard all year. <laughs> She's like, not impressed. Not impressed at all. All right. So it looks like, uh, at, at, well, at least five enemies. Uh, side window, successful shots at enemies during breach will stun, so we can target hostiles there. Same thing here. And then units automatically get overwatches um, on this one. This is like... Okay. This is okay. I guess you probably want to put this one last, right? So that the overwatches can actually matter. Put Axiom in here first. Second up, we're going to go uh, Patchwork. Overwatch is here. And here. Keep behind me. Don't bunch up. See a turret. I see France. See civilians underpants. Okay, a lot of turrets. All surprised. Uh, so the stuns. Yeah, that's right. We should have saw that too. We knew there were no hostile units. It would have told us. So the stuns don't really matter. We have a big shot on the mech there. Pretty good chance on the purifier too, actually. But I think we go mech because she can hack something, kill something. Assuming the hack works, who knows? Oh, Guardian on this side. Okay. Uh, he is stunned for at least one action. She's going to have a stun here as well. Let's go Guardian. Got the crit. I actually kind of want to just finish off this Guardian. Where we put damage into the Purifier. Hmm, tough call. Let's finish the Guardian. Ooh. The Graze. Kill. I'll shoot at anything. Alright. First up. Axiom. Ready to crush. Can he reach this guy? He sure can. Isn't that cute? Problem is, is that this android is going to act before Patchwork does. So it's like he likely primes, takes a shot at 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 uh, Patchwork, right? He might even move, and then we'll have Overwatches. But I don't think they're gonna kill him. 
I think just a single, actually, hold on. Do we do that same thing that we did previously? We go Adrenal Surge, psych up a couple of times, uh, come in here for the smash, and then we can pick up the kill with the, um, with the tranquilizers. Top dog. Let's do it. Ready for action. Now this cooldown will carry over to the next encounter, so we're gonna have to see if we can delay until that's done, ideally. Go. Locate the research cache. Oh, straight up unconscious. That's cool. That's super cool. I don't know if we've seen that proc yet on uh, on Smash. Disorient, stun, or render unconscious. Yeah, okay. That's obviously insanely good. So then... Who do we go on next? I guess here. I kind of want to build up a little bit more rage. Not, it's not like this guy can actually um, be stunned or anything, but... Or, uh, sorry. He can't be unconscious, but we could get a stun, I guess? Over. Or, you know, that's fine too. Yeah, did exactly what we thought. Uh, one thing, I don't do all these androids carry shotguns because I feel like it's really hard to keep track of who's doing what. 87. Go. Blowing some fuses. I don't know if Blue Blood's going to be able to see that mech. So now we just zap the turret. Overloading target. Don't knock precision. Oh, I didn't see that he was highlighted there. That's 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 something. That's good because now we can kill this mech. All right, good start, team. So we're not going to have that thing off cooldown. <laughs> I didn't expect it to go that smoothly that quickly. Check your fire in those apartments. Sacred Coil may have taken hostages. Oh, okay. Okay. We might see a lot of civilians we have to not kill. At least six enemies. Nothing hostile. Fewer aggressive enemies here. Enemies entering here get 25 defense for one round. So if we put somebody like Patchwork in right away... Followed up by Axiom. And these guys are going to act second. So they might get shot at, potentially. We'll put them in here. Hmm. The thing is... Okay, so yeah, there's fewer aggressive enemies. This, we see six. This, we only see five. So there might be an enemy that we really need to target. Otherwise, I would say maybe just throw them all in the same door. Ready to go. Breach! Breach! Easy access. Okay, so Purifier, Mech, uh, Ronin. See? Yeah. I haven't seen you for a bit. Andromedan's gonna be a little bit of work to chew through. Commando here. Purifier right in our face. I think we gotta take the 97. Ooh, right in the kneecaps. 78 is still pretty good. Maybe the other guys can see that, though, and I can put... Um, I go into this purifier a bit. Or even the mech, honestly. Or even the Andromedan. This purifier over time could be a problem. The Andromedan could be a problem. The mech can be a problem. Okay, let's go here on the purifier. Got the crit, which is nice. Show me the Ronin. There we go. Three to four. Lancer shot doesn't give us more damage, unfortunately. Ah, that sucks.
86. Or 91 on the purifier. If I believe in 86, I believe in 91. You know what I mean? Or vice versa. Okay, cool. Ronan gone. We never but we stop. have a lot of high HP here, which is problematic. Two rounds to collect the evidence. Okay. That's a thing. Yep. Cool. I can't jolt that guy. I can lock someone down. So who's going next? Android Commando. This Android I'm not concerned about. Can't go for a hack quite yet. So I think we probably just stasis something big. Stasis the Andromedan. Who can apply the, uh, the rupture stuff. I could also come in here, zap this purifier. But it doesn't gain it doesn't gain me anything by doing that. If he was at like five health, then yeah, I would consider it. Let's hold this guy for now. Causing hostile. And I wonder, like, if I'm not going to kill this commando here, then I think I just let him act. Because I can come up here, get rid of this purifier, and move on with my life. I think so, yeah. Arrested another target. Ooh, nice shot, actually. Mando taking cover. Throwing smokes. Okay. Might be able to benefit from that, potentially. We're at four rage right now. We're at four rage right now. I think I go in against the mech and hope we get something good. I'll psych up once here. Still want to try to save team up where I can. I'll sit here so that we have cover against, well, this guy, but he's going to try to blow us up anyway, so I'm not sure that that actually matters. I can't tell if I'm getting cover here from the smoke. These two certainly look like it, but this one's tough to say. Maybe even there. Now yeah, we're shrouded. Okay. Sick. Good job, Axiom. And the Berserk. Hit him again. Just do it. Or, okay. Oh, I almost killed him. All right. Axiom knows best. What do I know? We're not going to shrug this off. All of our rage gone. Six, too. Wow. That's serious. That's super serious. Okay, so he's stasis for his round. He's not coming off until patchwork goes. Um, I don't know how you see this, but you do. We just come subdue. Patchwork's going to have a go before the android goes. I think we subdue. And we can just grab the evidence. You're under arrest. Okay. Okay, cool. Now, I think I need to heal. Let's heal up Axiom. Need a little help? God, it's so good having Terminal out here. It's been a while. Oof. If we just take these shots, she would have to roll the five to get the kill, which is uh, not unheard of. We don't need to really suppress here because pushing him down doesn't do anything. Axiom can handle this if the uh, if this doesn't do anything. So, all right, that's fine. 
Andromedan back up. And we have Blue Blood going before him, which is exceptional. We're going to hold on to this med kit as long as possible. Zap the android now. Doesn't look like he was in range to get... Bounce to. Okay. Psych up. Wired up. Wired, all right. Yeah, I'd say so, buddy. Save some ammo here. Ah, uh, wait. If we put some damage in here, that would be... Well, he's going next. Yeah, no, we just take him. I don't know why I'm even considering it. As we have really good range here on this Andromedan from Blue Blood, so we should be able to get two of his big shots off, I would hope. 90. Heads up. Nice. There's the disorientation. He didn't actually get a ton of extra damage in, unfortunately. There it is, baby. Oh! I'm worried, though. We're kind of... We're kind of we're kinda cruising, you know? Like we're kind of cruising right now. That concerns me a little bit. Uh, let's go patchwork next for this heal. Let's get your insides back inside. Good. That's good. Okay. Start working on this a little bit. And then, uh, oh, actually, we can, we can kill these guys with, um, we can knock these guys out. So, actually, what we'll do is... We'll let Axiom finish him, I think. Coming through. One mod I'd like to see, while I'm thinking of it, is uh, just a counter for how many downed enemies we've had. <laughs> That's all. That's it, that's all. Oh, I should psych up first. On the edge. Make sure we get that going. There we go. Okay. Just because, like, I, it's, there's a lot to manage, so sometimes I miscount, and I'm like, we don't have to Edge worry up. about downing them. Sacred coil reinforcements en route. Oh, great. <laughs> really want those codes. And to survive the day. Wrong on both counts. <laughs> okay, Axiom. Thanks. He has been crushing, though. All right, so we see three here, four here. Uh, successful shots crit here. Uh, Non-aggressive enemies guarding this area are surprised. Last unit gets one armor for the encounter. Ooh, interesting. So this takes the essentially alerted enemies to surprise, which is, you know, not that bad. And we get one armor. But every shot through this door crits? Very tempting. Uh, hold on. Let's do um, Axiom. So he's got the battering ram. Chance to panic. And his rage is pretty high. Then we go here. Put the combat scanners on. Then we go blue blood. And then we go terminal. And refresh. This is our, this is our third one, right? Yeah, encounter three of three. So let him rip. Follow me. Because if everything's critting, we might be able to get rid of any enemies that we're at all concerned about. So. All right, purifier Andromedan, so we can crit on that. This guardian, we can crit on that. So both of these guys are the targets, I think. Beautiful. Six damage. Three to five. It's really low, unfortunately. That kills him. But we put out more damage over here. We'll take the Lancer shot on it. Ah, quite low chances here, actually. 
Guardian's gonna shoot back. I'm I think I'm okay with it. Nice, okay. Ha! Look at all the XCOM books. That's cool. That's cool. Control code spotted. Acquire Drop research cache. And get out. Okay, it doesn't look like we're on any type of crazy timers or anything. Uh, this looks like a obviously a pretty good option for us. The only the, okay, so the difficult part here is going to be the the rooms splitting everybody up, right? If I go in here, sure, but then I don't have them as like a tank for anybody out here. Uh, something to think about for sure. We have team up we want to use. Let's go. You know what? Actually, let's go adrenal surge. Over the edge. I'm gonna psych up one more time. We'll go smash here. Okay, you can kill him. That's fine, I suppose. Uh, then we're gonna go smash here. Kraken skulls. Disoriented. Okay. Blue blood. Okay. What are our options here? 87%. These chances are so high. It's like when they fail, you're so disappointed. I think we, we have failed a couple hacks on these basic androids. Nice. But like the expectation is that you're going to get it, right? That's what you would expect. Okay, unfortunately, this mech is gonna get a turn, I think. Unless... Unless... I bring... Who? Terminal up? That doesn't actually help me that much. Blue blood... Um, maybe he can get out here? I don't think this is the time to bring anybody up. I can zap this shell for a whole bunch of damage, or I can stasis somebody. The only person I'm really concerned about is, uh, I'm really concerned about this mech coming around the corner and hitting blue blood, but I don't want to stasis him this entire time either. And like, is this a reinforcements thing? Are we gonna have, re we got a lot of windows, who knows? This is so much damage here. I'm gonna hope this works. I think he'll take a little bit of damage. Too bad I couldn't target him, but... Oh, he didn't bounce. Okay. I know we can normally see the highlight, but... Around the corners is tough. Ah! Interesting. These guys, they tend to... They want us to spam that thing all the time. Oh, he's going on the android. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, boy. All right. Well played. Well played. Well played. Well played. Well played. 50% of that purifier there. Uh, let's get the heal done. In the last encounter. Turret's live. Turret... I don't think turret matters there. Purifier is here. Unfortunately, we can't see the Andromeda unless we move up. Or or go in for the subdue. But then... <laughs> Let's see. How come we're not getting... Let's switch this. It's not looking like the we can see the turret from here. Everybody else is highlighting correctly, but even here it's saying we don't have a visual. That's really strange. Because I'm tempted to go in for the knockdown. I kind of feel like... I kind of feel like we have enough. <laughs> you know? 
Let's take a 73 Deadeye. And I just feel like so often with that Deadeye, we're not getting the damage that we hope. At least he's hitting. Let's see what this guy decides to do. Yeah, I figured. Doesn't have a clue what's going on. <laughs> he is, by definition, disoriented. Okay, who's likely to get shot at next? It's likely gonna be down here, or this guy poops, peek, or, uh, peeks around the corner and tries to shoot blue blood. Um, I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give this to Axiom, fine. just for the extra Nothing defense. Us down. Oh, mind you, he's gonna go in and destroy these guys. We'll see. And stay down. Okay, reinforcements. Yep. <laughs> Excellent. Let's get on here. That's it. There it is. Ah, it is. Okay, so we do have to get out. All right. We do have to get out. Okay. So, two ways of looking at this. I think we just subdue here. Uh, this gets us moving back a little bit more. I know the commando is still alive. But I'm kind of hoping that I can uh, maybe just cause a distraction here. Uh, I don't know. This gives us, gives us a shot. Oh, it's bad. Okay, so then we see where reinforcements are coming in. Either going to be here or here. Let's put this down to guard this door. And then patchwork. I mean, if we want, we can just lock down this commando. And then I give Axiom a round. If he comes up, we start running him back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Axiom team up. We're going to lock down the, uh, the commando. Time out. Okay. And then what? Then what? I guess, you know what? We overwatch. Right? I don't want to leave with her because then we lose this hack. And then we I think we lose the stasis too. <laughs> so we should probably have her be one of the last to leave. Deep breath. Pick your shots. Let's bring him all the way down. We'll evac him right away. And then blue blood, we're gonna stand on here. Rolling out. Now we tried this a little bit on the on a recent mission, and I still struggle with the right approach to these evacs, right? So what I mean by that is, okay, I could sit here and I could Overwatch, right, and have some damage on the guys coming in. He's right here, so. Depending on where they go into the timeline, we might be able to just leave. But these guys, um, they can just run. It just depends on where these guys go. So I, I think, I, I think if we can evac, we can evac as long as everybody else is within a tile or within a one move um, situation. Remove. Yeah, like see, like this guy, he's gonna have a shot. That's about it, though. But because you don't know if they're going to splice in between, it's it's definitely riskier. Okay, so here we're going to leave. A couple things we can do just to be safe. Where's three? 
Let's uh, cease fire here. Grenade out. Okay, weapon disabled. Cool. We're going to safeguard here. The other option, I guess, we, we could have even pinned him down. And then we'd have, like, zero worries. Ha. Huh. Do we just trigger this? You know what? I don't think we do. I think we give this guy, like, the best target ever. If he wants to reload and take the shot, do it. Do it. I'm just gonna... I'm even gonna piss him off. Oh. All right. Well, he can't do anything now that he's moved, so... That's totally fine for us. Okay, we are out of here. Let's roll. Can we take anything else down with us before we leave? Yeah, we can. Frying circus. Sick. Let's go. That was awesome. Light wounds, no big deal. Six enemies we got, okay. Another 20 intel. Is that enough to get our last field team? That would be nice. Twenty intel there. Illyrium credits got it all today. Unrest in the fringe is lowered. Uh, we completed the fitness training, so he got rid of his uh, his scar, I guess. From the archives, the city thirty one chrysalid strain was first bred as food stock for our local human chattel. Can you imagine cooking them like your lobsters or krill? But efforts to render them edible revealed a dormant capacity for psionic dis or reception. This aberration allowed for more interesting variations. Detainee 31 BSEC AH4 38X80. I always wonder like when um, developers write things like this. Like, does this number mean anything? You know, what could that mean? Probably like their home address, pin number. Probably something like that. Good work. City 31 doesn't need more chrysalids, especially under the thumb of Sacred Coil. All right, sick. So, we're getting close towards the end of this investigation. We located Cathedral literally underground, drawing an immense amount of power from the city's grid. They aren't hiding anymore. Whatever they're powering up, we need to shut it down. Promotion on terminal. Yeah, baby. Cooperation. So, terminal coordinates with a nearby unimpaired ally to grant them an immediate bonus action. Three turn cooldown. So, who do we combo this with? You combo this with um, Blue Blood for a third shot. So he takes two shots, she goes, gives him an action. Uh, you could give this to Axiom to smash. Um, you probably don't give this to Patchwork because her ability would be on cooldown, I think. I guess we'll have to experiment with it, but really, really handy, I'm sure. All right. So, Scar is gone. I'm not too concerned about his Scar, honestly, at all. We located Sacred Coil's Cathedral. It's literally underground, drawing an immense amount of power from the city's grid. They aren't hiding anymore. Whatever they're powering up, we need to shut it down. We were, we were I guess, one step ahead of our buddy there. Uh, so when we complete an invest or yeah, when we complete an investigation, we remove three points, which means that I don't need to trigger this until we hit four points if we want to be like optimal efficiency. The flip side of that argument. Ooh, right here, take down sacred coil just like that. There it is. Minus two, yeah, minus two unrest in Angler's Point District, minus three City Anarchy. If I don't take this mission, it only gains one here. This is for credits. What's the reward here? A smoke bomb breach item. And we reduce unrest by two there. Huh, okay. Okay. Hmm. This one's tricky because, like, yeah, we could go here. 
sure, totally, totally cool. Try to take them down, reduce city anarchy. We're not at risk of city anarchy right now. This would go up. Uh, we have, we have um, unrest reduction if we want it. And we also have enough for a last field team here. I'm taking it. Okay, so now everything's in upgrade territory. If I just click this... <laughs> the thing is, if I click this now and this goes down, I'm going to be mad. I don't know if there's like a, a confirmation or anything. Because here we have to pick something and then click a district. Here, I don't know if it's just going to go down. So uh, I'm going to ask some people that have done this to see what the cooldown is. But there's no sense doing it when we only have three. There's no sense because this is going to reduce it by three anyway. So I think what we should do is take this cutting edge mission for the smoke bomb, uh, reducing unrest in the fringe. Then uh, here we can, this is going to go up to three. That's fine. Stacks is at risk, but we can reduce it with this. Uh, or I could just reduce it now. But I think it's best to save this for when things are going to proc the next deal. So, all right. How do we want to handle it? So, Torque's still busy in here. What if I put uh, Cherub back in training to get his mobility increased by two? That could actually be incredibly, incredibly helpful. That could be incredibly helpful. Especially on somebody like him. Let's do it. Okay. And then we'll set up for our next mission here, Cutting Edge. I think we save this. And we go here. Let's see what the deal is. Yeah, one encounter. It's a vent. Uh, we could... Where is it? We could buy, like, the Infiltrator Weave so that people can use vents. Actually, we can't because we have no money. So, forget it. Forget it. Uh, keypad doors. Yeah, fine. We'll take the we'll take the normal way in. So I think this makes the most sense. Uh, I'm going to ask some questions about the Major Crimes Task Force, but uh, we'll go to this Cutting Edge mission next, and then we'll try to take them down. Uh, let me know if you guys have any advice on that front. Um, I will have already done it by then, but we'll know for the next uh, set of circumstances that feel similar. Okay, thanks so much, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.